بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد قال سبحانه وتعالى or continuing on in our uh, study as we reach the eighth nullifier and this is the third dars pertaining to that eighth nullifier which is anyone who assists or aids polytheists against muslims has disbelieved the evidence for this is the statement of the almighty whoever from amongst you takes them as allies then he is surely one of them and allah does not guide the wrongdoers the uh the sheikh mentioned rahimahullah ta'ala this is uh as far as some of the details of the different categories. The evidence that Mawalat has different categories, major disbelief and major sin. So here's some of the dalil that it has, and this is uh, taken from some of the uh, benefits from Sheikh Salih bin Fuzan, Hafidhullah Ta'ala. A letter was brought to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam and it contained a statement from Hatib bin Abu Balta, Balta to some of the Meccan disbelievers informing them of some of the intentions of the Messenger of Allah Alayhi Salatu Wasalam. Then the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, O oh, Hatib, what is this? Hatib replied, O oh, Messenger of Allah, don't hasten to give your judgment about me. I was a man closely related to the Quraysh, but I did not belong to this tribe, while the other immigrants with you, ha uh, with you, had their relatives in Mecca who would protect their dependents and property. So I wanted to recompense for my lack, uh, for my lacking blood relation to them, by doing them a favor so they might protect my my family. I did this neither because of disbelief nor apostasy, nor out of preferring disbelief to Islam. So that's important. That shows us that tafsir we were just talking about. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Hatib is told the truth." Omar said, "O Messenger of Allah." Radiallahu ta'ala anhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allow me to cut off uh, the head of this hypocrite The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Hatib participated in the battle of Badr And who knows, perhaps Allah has already looked at the warriors of Badr and said Do whatever you like, for I have forgiven you Al Ra'is uh, states the speech of Hatib in addition to the fact that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam concurred is clear evidence that the action of Hatib was in itself not disbelief. This is why he said, I did this neither because of disbelief nor apostasy, nor out of preferring disbelief to Islam. Therefore, if the action of Hatib was disbelief, then he would not have needed to say, I did this neither because of disbelief, because the action uh, and in and of itself would have been sufficient to expel him from the fold of Islam. Likewise, it is not correct for the one who ridicules Allah to say, I did not say it out of disbelief, because ridiculing Allah in and of itself is disbelief. So that shows that the mu'alat, there's tafsil, that sometimes it can take you out of the fold of Islam, and sometimes it can be one of the major sins. And then at other times, that the uh, it, it constitutes... Uh, if it's out of natural love for your family or, or what have you, that this is not a sinful thing. But of course you dislike the disbelief, you want guidance for them. Sheikh Abdul Latif bin Hassan said, Hatib was referred to and described as having Iman. This admonishment uh, entails a general prohibition and it has a specific circumstance, uh, circumstance which shows his intent by analyzing the magnificent verse, it can be perceived that the action of Hatib is a type of Mawalat and that he informed them out of love so that the one who does this has been misguided off the correct way. However, his statement opened the way for him. He has told you the truth. The apparent meaning shows he did not become a disbeliever as long as he was a believer in Allah and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam without any doubt or uncertainty. Instead, he did that to gain a worldly benefit. If Hatib would have fallen into disbelief that made him that would have made him apostate, it would have nullified his previous deeds and this shows that ha just having an outward action of assisting the disbelievers or what appears to be love for them is not always disbelief and the intention of the one who does an action like this should be clarified. This is an important tafsil that we have to pay attention to because many of the takfiris and others they go astray in this uh, particular issue. Uh, Imam Qurtubi rahimahullah ta'ala said men he mentioned some of the benefits of the story of Hatib being the person who commits a major sin does not become a disbeliever and that the one who misinterprets is excused 
uh, unlike the one who does an action intentionally, accepting information from someone who is truthful and the permissibility of searching a woman out of necessity. We can benefit from this hadith that mawalat, even if it is apparent, can at times be major sin but not disbelief, and that sometimes due to misinterpretation, a person can be excused uh, for their sin or even kufr as it is one of the prohibitions to making takfir of an individual. And I think at this point we will can, we will save the rest for the next dars. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.